That's me in that car right there. Ah, uh, careful, you just oh, killed me. <laughs> I don't think they know anything about me, and you don't know what I did, and I don't want to tell you, even though we've you been friends it. for a long time. Go, motherfucker! That's me in that car right there. Ah, uh, careful, you just oh, killed me. I, just <laughs> I tried to get you and I killed you! Oh, that's so fucking twisted! Oh, that's so shitty on so many levels. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Shit! Oh man, no, what the fuck? That's not- see, my whole plan was I didn't think you guys would go that quick. I was gonna say, oh, are you guys leaving? Then I was gonna ambush the fucking car, kill the cop, and then just literally leave with you. It would've been perfect. Killed you. Yeah. God damn yep. it. Here, I know where to go. Go to the, uh... Okay, you know the gas station next to the, um... Strip club? How it has a bus stop? Yeah. I'm at the bus stop. Okay, I'll be there. I'm like, a couple blocks out. Copy that. There's cops all over the area right now. What'd you do? I mean, I don't know. You don't know? I just, you, you know, need to pick you up and there's a shitload I can't of cops in the area? I can't tell you what I did. Well, why oh, would I want to pick you up? I don't know if you want to pick me up right now. Actually, maybe you do want to pick me up. I'm trying to get the fuck out of the area. I'm, I'm like a block away. I'm trying to... Okay. ...not get pulled over on my way these over there. Cops are filling up in the goddamn gas station. You just need to hurry. What car are you driving? Uh, I'm in my work truck. Okay, because there's a lot of cars pulling in here for some reason, so... Yeah, I'm in my work truck. I'm just- I'm- I'm next to the strip club. I'm just trying to get through okay. these lights. There's- there is hella cops around here. Yeah, right now they're attempting to locate, but I don't think they're gonna be able to find us. Locate who? I mean, I don't know. I can't tell you everything. Is that right? They're trying to find you and you want me to you, pick you up? If I tell you, then you're gonna not- You're not gonna want me to- You're not gonna want this. How do you know that? I just am saying. Okay, dude, where the fuck are you? You're- <laughs> I, I'm- like I said. I'm on the way. Oh, shit. There's a lot of cops in this area, dude. There is a lot of cops. I'm- I think I'm- yeah, I'm turning onto the street with the gas station right now. Okay, pull in the dugout. There you go. Do they know what you look like? I don't know. There's been a lot of cops driving past me, but as of right now, I don't think they know anything about me, and you don't know what I did, and I don't want to tell you, even though you we've been friends a, for a long time. Go, motherfucker! You got a gunshot in your I shoulder. don't have anything. Uh, okay. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? Also, I'm trying to crouch, and this thing ain't doing shit. I mean, it looks like you're sleeping. You better stop at all fucking stoplights, stop signs, everything. Blinkers. I don't think they know shit. I don't think they do either. I don't think they know shit. Oh, and you're gonna bring me right back through the area that I'm trying to get to the Grove fuck Street? out of. Do you wanna go to Grove Street? Oh. Oh, what are you doing? What are you I'm doing? I'm taking the alley. You wanna you go to Grove Street? You son of a bitch. Let me out, 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 let me out. Nope, you're going to Grove Street. Let me out of the car. You're going to Grove Street. There's way too many cops, and you did some crazy shit in the alleyway, which is gonna suspect someone, I know Nobody it. Nobody saw nothing. Oh, Relax. there's a cop there! You're paranoid as fuck. I don't know what you're talking about. Relax, motherfucker. Take yeah, me to Grove the Street. goddamn Go to the, Grove Street. Take me to the court of Grove Street. It'll be the house on the right. Once we get through this light, we'll be on Grove Street. Run it! You just did a whole bunch of other crazy shit. Yeah, fuck the stop side, no one stops. Right on the right. There you go. Talk to you later. All right, have fun with your life. <laughs> One of the guys in the street was like, "Bitch!" I'm as you go pulled away. Huh. What the fuck? Don't damn punk ass Pop motherfucker. Man. We've known each other for years. Pop you're doing some sketchy shit. You wouldn't tell me what you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell the cops because I don't know what you've done. There's a cop right there. Hey. Hey. Oh, wait. There's helicopters rolled their Grove Street right now. 
trying to get this cop's attention. Oh, don't worry. Nope. Apparently, when you call 911, um, <laughs> nobody shows the fuck up. <laughs> well, at least I wasn't being stabbed to death, because, you know, that would have well, been a great... Well, you wanted them to chase me, they're chasing me, because I just ran over about three of the guys that were shooting me, so... What the fuck? I mean, I couldn't do anything. I was fucking pinned there with literally 15 gang members all pointing guns Why at me. Why were they mad at you? Because I walked out there with a gun. I didn't even fucking pull it out. Okay, well, I well, didn't even point it at anyone. But well, what we can like do I'm is... It's not like I'm getting the fucking cops anyway. Should I just... Should I pull over and then I can explain myself off and then you can try it again? To have them pull, uh... You, you do, like, a 911 call? It's too late now. I did my 911 call. Well, nobody they didn't show up. up. Exactly. <laughs> I called 911. Nobody answered. Nobody showed up. <laughs> nobody did anything. So fuck it. I did Hopefully my job as a citizen. I tried to get the cops. I'm leaving. Leave. I'm leaving. I'm Don't leaving. worry. I'm being chased by the police anyways. Fucking bullshit. Like I said, good thing I'm not being stabbed to death. I'm going to give up right here because I am now in the fucking water system of San Andreas. What? You know, like the little creek thing. Oh, the LA River? Yeah. We're about to get moved. Ten four, ten one saves. Sir, step out of the vehicle. All right, I'm stepping out. Did you see all those guys with guns back at my house? I had Sorry, to get out of there. Hands up. I'm just letting you all know, I had to tell you. That was some shit. Okay, walk slowly you guys back got me towards covered. us. Stop right there. I'll go ahead and cuff him if you guys want to cover me. Fucking idiot. Go ahead. Turn to drive. Okay, gotta go around. Sir, he's going to cuff you, so just sit still. Okay. I would like to explain myself, because there was a ton of people at my house with guns. Okay, as soon as he gets in cuffs, we can do that. Um. Okay. Um, if one of the Explorer units wants to put him in there. <laughs> I'll take him. So go ahead and hop on in here. Go ahead and, uh, got the door open for you. So what's your story? Uh, there was, I was at my house and I just got dropped off by my friend. And then all of a sudden he's like, you know what? I'm going to go find the cops and, and drop all these people off. So, uh, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, next thing I know, I went in my backyard. I came out, people were pointing guns at me. And then I had to go in and I drove off. I, I know I hit two of them. And then, uh, you guys chased me. Bad timing, I'll tell you that. Chris, uh, this is all up to you. You're the initiating officer, so. Okay. Well, sir, um, again, I was just patrolling in the area, heard the shots fired, noticed a bunch of people running from your home along with people in front of your home, so I was just unsure, and then you took off, and yes, you did hit two people, um, and you didn't stop for quite a while, so that just brings us to the situation now. I wanted to get out of the area. I was scared. Guys with guns in my house, so I wanted to leave, and I was my life was threatened, so I had to hit some of them. Okay, uh, what's your first and last name and date of birth? Uh, Hector Gonzalez, seven sixteen, nineteen seventy one. So you do know we can charge you with felony eluding? Uh, yeah, but it was worth it to have my life at the end. Okay. I would hope that you guys would make a better judgment call and investigate the situation. Yeah, yeah, we're investigating it. Um, Bravo 72 dispatch. Like I said, he's going to run your name right now, so. One Bravo 72. Uh, 1027, 1029. That's the guy that dropped me off and said he was going to get the guys. I got a Can Hector. we get units to cover that guy behind us? Hey, officer. 10, 10, 20, Sir, 10, 10, 10, don't 29. move. What? Okay. Stay Hector there. Hector Gonzalez, date of birth 7. 18, I don't know why you're pointing guns at me. I just called 911 
Nobody showed so, up. I don't know what I've been talking driving about. around looking for him. a cop the whole time. Don't, Can I talk to a cop over here? No. He dr he w dropped me off in my house and he said he's gonna have a whole bunch of people come and get me. Don't listen to him. Okay. So he's the one attacking you. You're saying. He might have had something to do with it, and the people. He said, and then all of a sudden, boom, people showed up. Okay. Officer Zach, can you go talk to him? 10-4. Control, control the unit, be advised, uh, that 1027-1029 on Hector Gonzalez, he comes back 1031. All right, sir, so can you explain uh, your side of the story, what happened? Thank you. Yeah, so my buddy Hector called me to pick him up. He needed a ride, and uh, he was like across the street from the uh, strip club. And he said he needed to me. He needed me to pick him up quickly. And he kept saying there was a ton of cops in the area, and he needs me to get there now. And when I got there, he was a little bit bloody. And I asked him what's going on, and he wouldn't tell me what's happening. And I kept asking him, and he kept not telling me. So I gave him a ride back to his house in Grove Street. Um, and then everything was fine. And when I was leaving, I thought, you know what? Something's not right here. Something, something's fishy. So I, I called 911. Nobody answered. So I've been driving around looking for a cop to say you should probably. I don't know what he did or what he's into or what he's doing. I haven't talked to him in a while, but he wanted a ride, and I, I think he was up to no good before I picked him up. I really don't know what he did. He wouldn't tell me. All right. So you're saying when you picked him up, he he was all bloody, like his. Clothes well, he had bad? like a his shoulder was bloody, like he got shot in the shoulder or something like that. I don't really know what the deal is, and he wouldn't tell me what he did. He kept saying, "Oh, don't get pulled over, don't get pulled over, stop at all the stops," and he wouldn't tell me why. All right. So how long have you known him for? Oh, I, it's like six years, but we're not that close. I just I know him. You know, we we talk every once in a while, but we don't really. You know, we're not the best of friends. All right, can, do you mind if I get your name, first name, last name, date of birth? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, Hank Williams, and uh, it's November 27th, 1960. All right, thank you. So to get this straight, sir, he attacked you is what you're telling me, right? He dropped me off at my house, and then we had an argument on the way back because he was trying to get to know my business when he doesn't need to know it. And I told him to mind his own business, and he said, all right, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna go find some people. And then I went in my backyard, came back out, and there was about 15 people pointing guns at me. So I hopped in my car and I ran two of them over and I left. Okay. 72 to 67. Good. Be advised, he's 1031. Okay, so he's gonna be going in to custody, right? No, he's 1031, so he'll be fine for right, right at the second. But he also ran two people over, he just told me so. Yeah, we're just going to hold him because um, I want to know more about this other guy and his involvement with the Elgin strip club area. Okay, while you're holding him, I'm just going to go ahead and take it back to the test cage, right? Control bar 67, show me 1015 when route back to station. Copy 67, 1015. That unit that had the 1027, 1029 be advised that that person comes back 1031. 104. Alright, so, uh,. Can you, do you, you say you had no idea why he was in the area of the strip club? No, he just, he called me, he sounded like he was in a bit of a panic, and he was like, you gotta come pick me up, you know, and because I just got off of work, I was like, you know what, fine, I'll come by and pick you up, and then when I got there, that's when he was like, oh, there's a lot of cops, make sure you stop, and I said, what's going on, what'd you do, and he said, I'm, I didn't do anything, I'm not saying what I, what I'm doing, and I know he lives off of Grove Street, in Grove Street, so, I don't know. He could have been up to no good. I don't really know what he was doing, but as soon as I dropped him off, I thought something felt sketchy and weird, so I was trying to find a cop to let you guys know that I I think he was up to no good. All right, Bravo 56, Bravo 70, do direct. Go ahead. Do you have any additional information on the other suspect? No, we're going to go ahead and take him in, um, obviously for running over those two people, but we want to question him a little bit more about what his involvement was with the area. Um, if your guy, if he wants to go down to the police station and give his... Uh, you know, information, that would be great as well. Alright, sir, uh, would you like to uh, file a report for all this? Um, if you need me to. I don't really, like I said, I don't know what he's done. I don't know if he's done anything illegal. It just was very suspicious. So I figured I'd report suspicious activity like they tell you to do. So, yeah, if, maybe if you need me to file a report, I can, I can do that, I guess. 
Yeah, if you could uh, go down to the station to follow a report, that'd be great. Okay, the downtown station? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go do that right now before I head home. Alright. Well, I guess you're going to be all clean. Uh, you're uh, good to go as long as you follow a report. Alrighty, I'll go head over there right now. Alright, have a nice day. You too. Okay, sir. So, let's back up way before you took off from your home. Let's talk about when your friend picked you up from the strip club. Uh, yes, I can, I can do that. Okay, so what were you doing in that area? Uh, I was just having a drink at the strip club. Okay, and what about the blood on your shirt or jacket? Oh, that was uh, marinara sauce. We were having a, a cocktail at the bar. That wasn't blood. Okay. So it wasn't blood? No. Why would, why would there be blood on my shirt? Well, I just want to let you know that probably 20 minutes before I found you at your home driving off, there were shots fired at the strip club. Oh, well, I had absolutely nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with it. I don't even own a gun, so... Okay. Well, um, I think your friend over there is standing there, so I'm going to go talk to him really quick. I'll let 67 ask some more questions, and then we'll try to wrap this up. Okay, thanks. So, to get this straight really quick, you were driving, you guys were together... So I, I called him because I needed to be picked up from the strip club because I had one right, too many. Right. So he picked me up, got in an argument on the way home, and he said some really rude and aggressive stuff when he was getting out of the car, something about trying to come and get me. And uh, next thing I know, there was a whole bunch of people on my doorstep and then, like, my front lawn. And, and uh, okay. yeah, it was bad. Okay. So he, someone, he said someone's going to come get you and you had 20 people in your yard. And that happened, right? Oh, yeah. It was almost, like, instantaneously. Okay. Okay, so, sir, can you tell me exactly what happened at the strip club? Was it blood the or was it club? marinara sauce? I don't know. I, I didn't pick him up at the strip club. I, I got off of work. He called me, like, right as I got off, and he said, hey, I'm, he was across the street at that, um, the gas station, that little bus terminal next to the gas station across the street. He was there, and he was like, hey, I need you to come pick me up really quick. And I was like, well, I just got off of work, fine. So I went in that area. And then when I got there, he got in, and he had uh, what looked like blood on his shoulder. I don't, I mean, it looked like blood to me. And um, he said, you know, there's a lot of cops in this area. Drive carefully. Don't run any stop lights or anything like that. And I said, what's going on? And he said, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to say anything. So I asked him what he did, and he wouldn't tell me. Um, so when I dropped him off at his house, I decided to go try to find a cop because... I don't know, it was really suspicious. It looked like he got shot in the shoulder or something like that, and he was really concerned about all the cops in the area, and he didn't want to get pulled over at all, and there was one point where he saw a cop, and he was, he really, he just wanted out of my truck. He was like, get me out, let me out, let me go. Um, so I don't, I, like I said, it was really suspicious, so I figured I'd report it. Okay, well, what you're telling me makes sense with what happened earlier. Uh, his story just seems a little too far off of what you were telling me. Um, I do appreciate you at least coming here and giving us your statement. Yeah, Sorry absolutely. that there were no officers in the area that you were trying to flag down. No, it's okay. So, um, just a couple more minutes here and uh, we'll get you on your way. Yeah, that's fine. I just, it was weird so I figured I'd tell somebody. Hey, okay. Chris. Or Zach. Go ahead. Over 72. So, what, I, uh, what I'm thinking here is he was involved in some kind of gang thing. He got shot. He called his buddy to get him, right? They took off, you know, cops were looking for him, looking for whatever happened. He got down the Grove Street. Gang found him. And they shot him up, and he took off and ran over the gang members as he was getting away. Yeah, that's exactly he, this what This guy over it looks here like. is just, I, th I feel like he just got sucked into something bad. Yeah, unfortunately, I think uh, this guy just was trying to be a good friend and the other one yep. just got him wrapped into some gang affiliation um so i think at this time we can honestly say it was gang related and not anything to do with the shots fired with the officers yep so um i'm gonna go ahead and charge him with felony eluding uh figure out what we'll to investigate and see what's going on with the other gang shooting and stuff on another date but right now i'm gonna charge him with felony eluding and uh Whatever else we can get on him for traffic violations. Yeah, no, that sounds good. I think that's the way we'll go with this, and we can get the 
One more gang affiliate off the street. Alright, if you want to inform that compliant over there, and I'll uh, inform him of his unforeseen news. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Alright, sir. So basically what's going to happen right now is you're being placed under arrest for felony eluding and a bunch of traffic violations. Uh, we believe you're involved in some kind of gang shooting or something, and we'll have to figure that out at another date. But I uh, feel like you sucked your buddy into something he shouldn't have been sucked into. Man, I, like I said, I was just trying to get out of there because I didn't want to get killed. So, uh, I don't I'm know. Sure hopefully the evidence killed. Uh, Hopefully the evidence helps me in court. Cause I, don't, I don't know what else to say. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to walk you into jail here, and we'll get things on the way with the processing. Uh, all right. Okay, so, sir, yeah, your buddy's going to be booked in tonight, so you can go ahead and uh, go home and relax, and I'd probably recommend making a little bit better friends. Yeah, can I ask what he's being booked for? I, I still don't know what he did. If he did anything, I don't know. It's well, just... all I can say is it's gang affiliation. Okay. Um, other than that, I really can't tell you anything. I mean, I kind of figured that, yeah, with the area that he lives in, it's, you know... That's kind of what happens. Well, I'm uh, glad you made it out safe and you weren't harmed. Yeah, Just, uh, I mean, I, <laughs> I guess I got to pick better friends and realize the situation. I I just thought I was giving them a ride, so. Yep, well, you never know. So well, I appreciate it, and I want you to drive safe, and uh, be safe out there. Yep, have a good one, guys.